Hi, everybody. Hey. <clears throat> Let's make sure I get everybody in view. Hi, everybody. Hello. All right. I think we're. I think we're here. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. Happy Tuesday. A little late today. Had a class to attend or to facilitate. Hey, hey everybody, I'm a little late. You know, I had a, um, a session to facilitate tonight for uh, my mastermind group. So I have a mastermind group of people who are learning how I make money online and I'm teaching them what I know. They paid a lot of money for it, so sorry about that. But we're here and uh, it is Tuesday and we're gonna have Taco Tuesday. So I hope you guys are ready. Hey, hey everybody. Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, today's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Okay, so we're going to cook uh, chicken tacos, a little bit of rice, and I'm going to do a little pico, and we're going to have a fantastic time because this is what Tuesday is all about, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to get my rice on the stove because the rice is going to take the longest amount of time to cook. Okay, so I'm just going to heat a pan really quickly, uh, and this is the way, now there's all these methods out here uh, about how to make the perfect pot of rice, right? You can do a bunch of different things. This is the way I like to make it, and this is the way it just happens to work out for me the best. So um, I'm going to use basmati rice, so basmati is B-A-S. M-A-T-I, okay? Now, if you, if you, oh, uh, today's Wednesday? It sure is, isn't it? No, today's Tuesday. Today's Wednesday? Oh, today is Wednesday. Oh my God, where am I at? What world do I live in? Oh my gosh, today is Wednesday. I don't went the whole day thinking today was Tuesday. Okay? Oh my gosh, tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> tomorrow's, I can't believe tomorrow's Thursday. Can you believe this? Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, tomorrow's Thursday. And I haven't even started drinking. Isn't that something? Okay, so I'm going to measure out a cup of rice. It's just me. All right, so I'm just going to measure out a cup of rice. The thing that if you've been following me for a long time, then you already know how we roll with the rice. You know what we do. You know it's two to one, uh, two parts liquid one part rice. In this case, I'm going to use one cup of um, rice to two cups of liquid. Liquid's going to be chicken and beef stock, you know, sort of half and half, all right? So I'm going to move you guys over to the stove so you can see what's happening, all right? I got cords and stuff everywhere. So let's make sure you guys can see. Hey, Instagram, um, you can see a little bit over here. Sorry. Okay, so in this skillet, or in this pan, I'm going to throw in some olive oil, okay? Just like a couple of, you know, rounds, you know, a few teaspoons olive oil. And then I'm going to put the rice in, okay? That's it. Rice and olive oil in. Easy, okay? I've got a wooden spoon, and I'm just going to stir. What am I doing? I'm toasting the rice because I really want to make sure that all of the rice has a chance to become one with all of the oil that's in here, okay? Simple. I'm gonna watch this, it's like a medium high heat. I don't want this to burn, okay? <laughs> so pray for me, because <laughs> it would be a shame to burn this live, okay? It'll be a shame if I burnt this live, okay? So let's do our broth. Let's get everything ready, okay? Rice is toasting. I'm gonna watch it, make sure it doesn't burn. I don't rinse the rice. If you are a rice rinser, rinse away, okay? I'm gonna show you, in my opinion, how to make the perfect pot of white rice. And it literally comes out, if you do this, it comes out perfect every single time, okay? So this is stock in the box, and this is a cup of chicken stock, right? Because you could cook it in water, but why would you do that? Who does that? Okay, so this is a cup of chicken and then a cup of beef. That's my secret, okay? That's my secret. I do a cup of chicken and a cup of beef. So 
you know, we're putting some flavor in our, in our rice, okay? So a cup of each. And then that way, my liquid's ready to go. If you were doing seafood stuff, you know, you could use a seafood stock. Um, you know, if you were doing, um, you know, vegetable pie or some kind of dish where, you know, it wasn't, you know, you got to keep it, you know, vegan or keep it clean or whatever, you could completely do um, like a veggie stock, right? A prepared veggie stock. They got vegetable stock. They got lobster stock. They got seafood stock. They got everything. They got beef. They got chicken. And sometimes, okay, now this is just between you and me, all right? This is just between you and me. Don't tell nobody this, okay? What you could do is you could put in some water, right? And then a few drops of a chicken bouillon, okay? A few, chops, a few drops of chicken and a few drops of beef. You get the same thing, okay? So you could do that, okay? Now look. This rice is nice and toasty. Look at this, just that fast. So you can't walk away, because you walk away, you'll burn this, okay? And I don't know, last time you had burnt rice, it's horrible, okay? But basically it's nice and golden brown, right? And what I wanna do is just literally add in, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you. I just wanna add in my stock, right? And uh, that's it, watch this. Okay, that's what you want to hear. This is it. I'm just going to stir this together and let this cook down. And I'm cooking this live on Periscope. I mean, live on, what am I on? Live stream. <laughs> I'm just so used to being on Periscope, I can't even get it together. Okay, I don't know about you, but tacos taste better with a margarita. Huh? What do tacos taste better with? A margarita. Okay? Yes! A margarita! Let me get some ice. Let me get some ice. Hold on. Let me get some ice. Okay. Ice. And a cocktail shaker. Okay, now, I could make a regular margarita, but I'm not a regular person, okay? Roser's sweet lime juice. A little bit of that, okay? Sweet lime juice, lime flavor, done, okay? Triple sec, a little triple sec on top of that, okay? Glug, glug, glug. Okay, watch this. Some tequila. You can use the golden tequila or the tequila blanca, the white tequila. It's fine, okay? So we're gonna throw in some tequila. And we might as well call this a white Hennessy Rita, okay? We might as well call it a white Hennessy Rita because I'm going to throw in not just triple sec, not just white tequila. I'm also going to throw in some white Hennessy at the same, at El, uh, at El Tiempo Mismo. That means the same time in Spanish, okay? El Tiempo Mismo. Okay, so white Hennessy, lime juice, Triple sec, tequila. You shake the devil off. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Listen. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just dropped everything. Hold on, guys. I'm not even drunk yet. Oh, my God. Hold on. I just dropped. The whole thing just fell. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't break it. Oh, 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 oh no. This is horrible. OK. 
Okay, that's the devil. That is the devil trying to save us. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Oh, gosh, I didn't drink yet. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now we rocking and rolling. Okay? The devil thought he had me. But I got away. All right? I have a glass. Okay? I have a glass. Jesus. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. I'm just so excited. I just don't know what to do. I can't even, I just can't even contain myself with my level of, uh, with my level of excitement. Okay? I just, literally, I just can't. Oh. Oh. As, as often as he do this, White Hennessy, and you love lime, and you love margarita. Mm. This is it. Mm. Okay, let's cook. Let's cook. Okay, let's cook. All right, I got a skillet getting warm. All right, and I've got some chicken here. Okay, I'm gonna put the chicken on this white cutting board. Okay, uh, plastic cutting board, non-porous, so I'm not contaminating anything. And I'm just gonna cut my chicken into sort of like bite-sizey kind of strips, you know, because I like. Ooh. I like to have some personality in the food when I eat it, so you know it's chicken, you know? So I'm just cutting them into strips, uh -huh, like this. That is a drink, okay? And that's it. I'm just gonna do this, okay? And then I'm gonna show you the stove, so you can see, I'm just gonna put this uh, oh, that's good, y'all. I'm just going to put some oil. Let me wash my hand up real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to put me a little bit of oil in the bottom of this skillet. Like this. Okay. And in here is going to go <laughs> this chicken. All right. We're going to put this chicken right in here. <laughs> Woo, I feel good already, huh? <laughs> yes, that's chicken. Okay. All right, chicken goes in first. <laughs> and let's do, let's do some vegetables. Yes. Okay. Is, I mean, gee, that, what is in here? This is called the party starter, baby. Mm. Okay. Here's an onion that I'm gonna dice. Oh no, I'm not gonna dice it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it in. Woo! I'm gonna cut it into strips. I'm gonna slice the onion. Is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slice it. Okay. All right. Here's the onion. 
Watch for your fingers. All right, I'm gonna throw the onions right in with the gar I mean with the um, chicken. Okay, <laughs> right in with the chicken. I'm not gonna forget my rice is back here cooking. The liquid's almost out of that rice. I'll show you what I'll do next. Okay, here's some garlic. Okay, so we're gonna slice <laughs> some garlic. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna we're gonna slice some garlic. Okay. Oh, that is delicious. Yes, Lord. All right. Garlic is being sliced. Watch out for your fingers. Okay. I'm gonna throw the garlic in to the pot. And I wanna show you the rice. Rice is, all the liquid is cooked out of the rice. You see that? All the liquid's done. I'm gonna cut the heat off of the rice and put a, a lid on the rice. I'm going to stick the pot on the back of the stove, and that's it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let it go, okay? Meanwhile, look at what's happening, okay? we got chicken, we've got onion, and we've got garlic in a pan. Simple stuff, y'all. Believe it or not, we're halfway through the meal. Now, we have not seasoned anything. And that's not how we roll, you know that, okay? So let's talk about the seasoning. Ooh. Hey, Facebook. Let's talk about the seasoning for this. Okay, it's a lot of stuff going on, but it's worth it. When we're done, you're gonna say, Darius, geez, this is great, okay? All right. Here is some coriander, okay? Ground coriander, okay? This is ground ancho chili powder, okay? Ground ancho chili. This is ground cumin, okay? Ground cumin. So, so far, cumin, coriander, chili powder. This is a chipotle chili powder, okay? This is gonna have a kick to it. This is a chipotle chili powder, okay? Ooh, I smell it. Like, as soon as you open it up, you can smell the, the smoky. Dried cilantro, people. Changes your life, okay? Dried cilantro changes your entire life. It smells fantastic. This is dried cilantro, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of ground fennel seed in here. Okay, some ground fennel. You dare not make a taco without garlic powder, okay? Garlic powder is a must. Okay, some white pepper is also good in here. We're gonna throw in some onion powder for a little bit more of a kick, a little bit of red chili flake. Okay, these are gonna be spicy. Okay, spicy is good. And you need salt, lots of it. Okay, lots of good salt in here. I mean, you could buy your prepared taco seasoning, or you could make one, okay? You could buy one, right? But why do that with all the additives, all the preservatives, 
<coughs> Excuse me, one second, please. Okay. You could buy one. Or, look at this. You can make your own. Okay? You could buy one. Or you can make your own. You see this? Simple. You could buy one, or you could then just come in here now and make your own. Okay? Now, of course, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this to season our chicken. Look at this. This chicken is cooking with the onion and the garlic, chicken breast, right? Onion, garlic. If your pan's too dry, we're gonna add a little bit more oil. Just like that. Alright, and a couple of spoonfuls of this seasoning mixture. Now we've just seasoned the hell out of our chicken tacos. Okay? We just seasoned the bejesus out of these. And we're gonna let these cook up and do amazingly wonderful things, okay? Now, let us discuss the topping, okay? Now we have taco seasoning, the whole place smells like Cancun, and I don't know about you, but it feels like, it feels like Cancun. Get you one of these in your life. Anybody ever piss you off? Anybody ever make you upset? Anybody ever really make you upset? You get you one of these. And peace will be still all around you. Okay? All right. Let's continue. All right. I've got some pre-washed tomato that we wash before we put them up. And I'm gonna put them into a bowl. I'm gonna dice the tomato, okay? Dicing our tomato, I'm just gonna come cut out the core at the top. Like this. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna cut this out. And I'm gonna get rid of that. And we're going to dice some fresh tomato. Okay, slice, slice, slice. Dice, dice, dice. Now, uh, so I'm using, oh, let, let me say this before I forget, because I'm feeling this drink. By way of announcement, I do have a brand new cookbook out. It's called 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table. The book is amazing. You can get the book today. You can download it right now by going to um, DariusCooks.tv and you can pick up my brand new cookbook for your holiday table and my current cookbook, uh, Stories from Your my, my Grandmother's Stories from My Grandmother's Kitchen, not yours, mine, My Grandmother's Kitchen. That book is also available right now. Uh, at DariusCooks.tv. So go pick those up. Those are amazing resources for you to have in your library. Okay? Alright, so I'm just going to dice some tomato. Uh, Alright, now let's talk about variations to this recipe. If you wanted to use anything other than chicken, you could do the exact same thing. So, whereas I'm adding in chicken, you can certainly add in any number of things. If you wanted to add in some shrimp, you could do that. If you wanted to add in fish, you could do that, right? If you wanted to add in some ground pork, or maybe you wanted to do lamb chops this way, you could certainly do the exact same thing. So let this, again, be a guide, okay, uh, to whatever it is you want to do in your kitchen. 
Just follow the same process. Saute your protein, add in your onion and your garlic, and then your seasoning, okay? Simple, diced tomato, got it? Good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, diced tomato. Looking good. All right, what's next? A little bit of onion. All right, a little bit of onion is going to go in here. And I'm using red onion just because I think red onion looks pretty. Could you use something else? Absolutely. Uh, I like to say <laughs> use whatever is on sale. All right. Whatever onion you prefer, whatever's on sale, you use that, all right? But red onions are pretty, and they're actually pretty tasty as well. So I'm just going to dice up a couple of tablespoons of red onion. Okay. And we're gonna put the red onion right in here. So we got onion and tomato. All right, we got onion and tomato. And we got some more drink. Mm. Okay, folks. In here, I have a serrano chili pepper. A little bit of heat, a lot of good flavor. This is what I do. I cut up about half the pepper, and honestly, I just dice it like you do, like I mince it up like you do garlic. Nobody wants to bite into a large piece of pepper. Um, obviously, if you want this less spicy, then you can omit the peppers. Right, but uh, I like spice, okay? All right, again, let me remind you, if you want a copy of my current cookbook, I have two books out now. I have a brand new book that came out Sunday. It's an e-book. It's 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table. It's available at DariusCooks.tv. And my other book, Stories from my grandmother's kitchen is also available at DariusCooks.tv, okay? It's also available by going to DariusCooks.tv. That is me on the cover. Okay, onion, uh, tomato, serrano, and then I'm going to put a little garlic in here. Here's what I like doing, y'all. I take a little rasp or microplane, and I just grate my garlic in, okay? That way, I get the garlic in there without all the chopping and dicing, right? It goes right into there. So a couple of cloves of fresh garlic. See how easy this is? See how easy this is? It's that simple. Okay, I'm going to grab a fork, oh yes, 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 okay, I'll show you this in one second y'all, alright, I'm going to grab a fork because I want to put some fresh lime juice in here, after I take a swig, mmm, 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 alright, the juice of two limes right into, whew, is it me or is the room spinning? The juice of two limes, right? And what I do is I fork my limes, okay? If you fork your lime, you'll get all the juice out of your lime, okay? You just put the fork right in the middle like this, and if you twist, look at that, you will get all the juice, uh, out of the line, okay? You have to fork your line, people. 
fork it real good, okay? All right, so the juice of two limes, all right, and then look, here is my secret flavor weapon, okay? Don't tell people. If you tell people this trick, everybody's going to do it. What makes this good is a little bit of white balsamic vinegar, okay? A little bit of white balsamic vinegar will help the sweetness of those tomatoes come out. The acid helps break down everything. That's going to be delicious, okay? Now we have to season this with salt and pepper and sugar. So remember, everything's acidic. The limes are acidic. I don't want to read no comments about how much sugar I'm putting in here, okay? The limes have acid. The um, vinegar has acid. The tomatoes are naturally acidic, right? So you need to balance the acid with some sugar. So I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in here. Okay? Just like that. And then the last component, because you cannot have pico de gallo. Now listen, all of my Mexicans watching me, te amo mucho, but don't start nothing. I know this is not authentic. Okay? I know it's not authentic. I know that you don't put vinegar and sugar in your pico de gallo. But I put it in mine because it's good, okay? So here's some fresh cilantro. And I love cilantro, all right? Fresh cilantro right in here, okay? Now let me stir this up so you can see this and you can be amazed and what we just made, okay? Let me stir this up. Baby, that drink is something serious, son. Okay, look at this. Oh, I need some oil, sorry. One last component, I'm drunk, forgive me. We need oil. So, a couple of tablespoons of oil, all right? Because oil is gonna give it that good mouth feel, you know? Like that good sort of slick mouth feel that a good pico has. Oil does that, okay? Let me put this in a dish. Let's find something that we can plate this in. Oh, this is cute. Look, let's put it in a dish. This is cute. This is very Wisteria Lane. <laughs> this is very Martha Stewart, okay? Look at what we just did. Pico de gallo from scratch, okay? And the longer this sits, of course, the better it tastes, okay? The longer this sits, the better it tastes, all right? So there's your pico de gallo. Look at that, you see that? And you need that oil. You need the oil, I'm sorry. You cannot get by without the oil on this. It is so, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. It's so crucial. Okay, I wanna fry some tortillas. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna fry them. This is healthy. I'm gonna put them in the microwave and heat them. Let's get our tortillas ready. Hold on. Let's get our tortillas ready. Tortillas are good. They're like one point, half a point if you're if you're on Weight Watchers. What are they? I can't see. Two tortillas. Oh, it's 100 calories. No man. It's a lie. It's a lie. The devil thought he had us. Okay, here's my trick. <laughs> Wet paper towel. Okay. Wet paper towel towel is my trick for making succulent, juicy tortillas nice and pliable. I just cover them up in the paper towel and I'm gonna put them in the microwave for a couple of seconds. Okay? Now, let's do like two more things and then we can eat our food. First, let's drink, okay? Let's drink. 
Don't forget, you can grab a copy of my current book, a copy of my current book cook, I was going to say, a copy of my current cookbook by going to DariusCooks.tv. Uh, in there, you'll find my brand new cookbook called 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table, since the holidays are coming up. And then also, my current cookbook, Stories from My Grandmother's Kitchen, is there as well. The ebook is there. You can download gorgeous, lovely stuff. Okay? This was sour cream. Sorry. This was sour cream. These are chipotles in adobo. You know, it's really warm in here. You know, it's really, it's a little, a little warm. Okay? A little warm. Okay, these are chipotles in adobo. Let me show you. Before I do this, I want to show you something. Look at what I'm doing. All right, look at this chicken. Look at this chicken, the onion and garlic. You see this? You see how this is cooked up nicely? You see how this is cooked up? Now, on the bottom of this, we got some stickies, okay? We call that fond, F-O-N-D on the bottom. We're going to deglaze with a little bit of that chicken stock, okay, in the bottom of this, okay? A couple of tablespoons, and then we're going to just scrape because this is where all that delicious flavor is, and all that flavor, we want to get that as a part of our sauce, okay? So this is going to make just a fantastic sauce for our chicken so it's not too dry, okay? Back on the stove, all right. Now, chipotles in adobo, okay? Chipotles are smoked jalapenos in this like really good smoky tomatoey sauce. I'm gonna add some of the sauce, okay, right into uh, the sour cream with a little squeeze of lime juice, okay? A little squeeze of lime juice like this. Not a lot, just a little squeeze. And then some salt and pepper. Here's some salt. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do smoked sea salt. Alright. I've got some this is this is Maldon smoked sea salt. A little bit of that goes in. So sea salt and black pepper. Okay? Might as well. Everything's smoky, everything's flavorful. And we give it a stir. And this is the sour cream that we're gonna use on our tacos. This is the crema that we're gonna use, okay? Let's dish this up as well. And uh, we're almost there. I'm, I'm there. I'm already there, <laughs> okay? So here's the crema right here. I'm gonna show you this in a second so you guys can see it. I wanna get all of it out of here. All right, so we got the chipotle lime crema. We've got the pico de gallo. We've got the chicken. We just gotta do one more thing for our rice and then we can eat. Look, here's our cream, okay? Here's our crema. It's ready to go, okay? All right, last thing, last thing is let's do a little bit of some fun. All right, in a blender, or food processor. Oh Lord, hold on. Okay, in a food processor, let's throw in the stems of the cilantro that we didn't use and a little bit of the leaf. We'll throw this right in here, okay? To this, we're gonna add some garlic, a couple cloves. We're gonna do salt and pepper. All I've got is smoked sea salt. And then some pepper. All right, and a hefty dose of olive oil. A hefty dose. What am I making? A cilantro pesto. Okay. I'm making a cilantro pesto 
Let's polarize this. Done. What does this look like? I'll show you. It looks like heaven. Okay, look at this. Cilantro pesto. Okay, cilantro, for you cilantro lovers, this is the cilantro, cilantro pesto. Okay, good stuff, right? All right, watch this. Watch me. Remember that rice we cooked earlier? Guess what's done? The rice. The lid comes off, the steam escapes. I promised you, you'd be able to fluff this rice perfectly, right? Watch this. This is the most perfect, look at this. This is the most perfect pot of rice you have ever seen in your life. Do you see this? Look at how perfect this rice has now come out, okay? It is ready to go, okay? Now, what do we do? We put the cilantro pesto on the hot rice, okay? Am I done? Not yet, because we're gonna take some cotija cheese and we're gonna put some cotija cheese in the rice as well. Not to mention, we still have a half of lime left, so we're going to squeeze our lime right in here, okay? So we have lime juice. Cotija cheese, lovely cilantro pesto. We give this a stir ever so carefully and you have the most beautiful cilantro rice, cilantro lime rice you've ever had in your life. You have the most gorgeous pot of cilantro lime rice, okay? Literally, this thing is ready, okay? This thing is ready to go. Okay. Ahora. Ahora. Es el tiempo para comer. Okay, that means it's time to eat. Let me get a plate. Let me get a plate. Okay, folks. A little toe up. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I need? Hold on. Aguacate. I need a good avocado. I gotta have an avocado in this, okay? I gotta have some avocado in this situation. Okay. Avocado. I'm gonna put it right on the board. Oh, look at that. Right where I wanted it to go. I'll slice it. And uh, a little bit of black pepper. And some of my smoked sea salt. Right on top of my avocado. Okay, now, let's assemble. Remember those tortillas we placed? Look at them. Right into the paper towel. I'm going to double them. Okay? Because I like... Double Asian happening. Okay, all right. Now, remember, well, this is hot. I'm gonna burn myself. Remember, look at this. You see this? You see how saucy and delicious and juicy our chicken, and you see why I cut the chicken so thick? Is because I like the chicken to have some personality, okay? I like chicken to be there. I want to be able to bite into it and, you know, I know what's happening here. So I'm going to throw chicken, onion, garlic right on. This is completely, like, delicious, okay? Little chicken. Look at the onions. The onions are all nice and caramelized. Look at the onions. Look at what happens. You see how the onions are all nice and caramelized in there? You see that? Okay. Now, let's add, so 
some good stuff. Let's add some pico with my secret flavor weapon, that white balsamic vinegar. Let's add a dollop of cream, right? This is that smoky chipotle lime crema. Let's add a couple of slices of fresh avocado on the plate. I love avocado, okay? Let's do a squeeze of lime. Here, squeeze the lime there, okay? Let's get that cleaned up. And a squeeze the lime here, okay? Let's get some, make some room for some of the rice, okay? I made this live, I mean, perfect pot of rice, live on live stream, okay? And then a little bit of cotija. Cotilla, say that four times fast. Okay, people, now here comes El Momento de la Verdad. You know what that means? Here comes the moment of truth. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Okay, let's try the rice first because it's calling my name. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, listen, the rice is cooked perfectly. All the granules are separate. It's not gummy at all. And what happens is that cilantro pesto comes through so well. Oh. It's good. Very bad. This is even better. Listen. By way of announcement, if you don't have my new cookbook, go get it now. DariusCooks.tv. I have a brand new cookbook out called 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table. You can get it right now by going to DariusCooks.tv, okay? Brand new, it's there. My current cookbook is also available uh, to purchase as well. Stories from my grandmother's kitchen, okay? Here we go. Mm. Oh, listen, the chicken is juicy and so well seasoned. The pico de gallo is fresh, it's light, it's so good. Mm. That smoky that smoky crema out of sight. This one y'all. Whenever you cook with love, you always feed the soul. Whenever you cook with love. You always feed the soul. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. I might be drunk, but food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all.